Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on, well, not really, well, I'm on the Hypermind server, but it's not an actual episode. <laughs> if you haven't been able to tell by the video yet, I am not doing an actual episode, not today, but I did want to do this, and I said I was thinking about doing it last episode, and I decided I'm going to do it, and is do a special episode for Back to the Future Day. So happy Back to the Future Day to all of you guys, and if you don't know what Back to the Future is, go look it up. It's a great movie series. Um, when they went to uh, the future, and it was this day today, which is October 21st, 2015, and for some strange reason you don't know what Back to the Future is, then you can click off. But... Stay here. I, I wanted to do the special video for you guys today. And I thought of this last night, and it's probably not the first time someone's done this. I bet you someone else has done this today. But I wanted to make a special video. So not only for myself to be able to see later on, but for other people to put their input as well. So what do I think the future will be like in 30 years? And this is huge because they made a lot of predictions back in 1985 about what was going to be well technically the second movie was made in 1989 but the setting of the movie was 1985 so really it wasn't 30 years for them but it's 30 years based on the movie so what the what the future would be like what 2015 would be like and they got a lot of things wrong but they did get a lot of things right and i would like to say what i think the world would be like in 2045 <laughs> oh my god 2045 um, just a little bit of an insight, that would be, oh my goodness, that's 30 years from now, so that means I will be turning um, 50 next year, the year after, so I'll be 49, Jesus. So hello, if this is still around in, t in 30 years, hello future Valentine, how is it going? <laughs> but anyways, first things first, what do I think the world would be like in 2045? Well, to be honest, I don't think... I really don't think 30 years is a huge gap for a huge amount of change, but I do believe that there is going to be a, a great advancement in medicine and medicine and, and kind of like, uh, you know, medical treatments, a lot of stuff like that. I really think that we're going to be able to uh, cure a lot of diseases. And if you haven't noticed by now from the future, uh, I always say that because uh, just in case if someone is watching from the future, but my skin is representative of breast cancer awareness because it is October. Do I think that they'll be able to cure cancer in 30 years? I don't. But I do believe by the year 30, 2045, I believe that they're going to have a lot better means of treating it. I do hopefully, I hopefully they'll have a better ways of treating it. I don't think they're going to be able to cure it. And if they do end up curing it, I hope it doesn't end up like I Am Legend. That would be terrible. <laughs> Please don't. That would be awful. But um, yeah, for another thing in technology wise, personally, I... I don't ever see humanity ever having flying cars. I'm sorry. That's just me. I don't, I can't imagine people actually flying around. People right now are having a hard time driving, let alone flying. And personally, I don't really see that big of a, um, kind of like an advantage for the simple fact of there would be, you couldn't just fly anywhere. That'd be like, there would have to be rules and regulations for it. There would have to be, you know, road systems to fly through because people if they were just flying all willy-nilly they would not only have to worry about themselves but thousands and hundreds of thousands of other cars in the air so they would have to be organized systems for this kind of stuff and really to be honest i don't really see that much of a, a an advantage over being able to just drive on the land um maybe it would be a lot easier to get from point a to point b but I don't really see that big of an advantage. And mostly, I, I also think that it's going to be a huge hazard. Because when it comes to flying cars, if your car messes up, you're in big trouble. I don't th I think as soon as, like, if you, like, stall out or you run out of gas or something goes wrong, you're going to plummet. <laughs> However high you are in the air, you're going to plummet right down. So I don't really see that that's going to be a really big advantage. So I don't really feel like in the next 30 years or even really in the next 50 years, I don't think there is ever going to be flying cars. I know there are flying cars now. They're in development, but I don't think they're actually going to be practical. So that's going to be a thing for me. Now, hoverboards is a different story. I do believe there will be advancements in technology because we're working on hoverboards now, but they only work on copper. But I think they'll be able to... I don't know if they're going to be able to do it in the next 30 years, but the next 50 years, maybe, maybe, maybe hoverboards. But other than that, I don't, I don't think 
you know, I definitely don't think flying cars is going to be a thing. Hoverboards, maybe. Maybe in 2045. Another thing, with technology, I feel like in 2045, and these are kind of like bold predictions for myself because they're not really based on anything, but 2045, I think there will be... I don't think there will be television anymore. I don't really think... <laughs> Presty's, Presty's AFK. Uh, that never happens. <laughs> well, um, I don't think there's going to be television. And the reason I think that is, is because... Television as a whole, I believe, is on a da- is a, is on a downscale. Um, I personally don't watch it anymore. A lot of people that I'm friends with don't watch it either. I think the generation that I that we're in right now, the uh, the millennials, they're starting to get less and less with television. They're starting to move away from it. I think that in the future, especially in 2045. There's going to be more downloadable content. There's going to be more streams and streamings. There's going to be more creative content like the stuff I'm doing now. I think that this is going to be the future. And I think Netflix is going to be a big picture and like a big player in the, the downfall of television. As personally as that's how I feel. There's going to be, um, you know, stuff like I think there's going to be. I hate to say that because there's always going to be television sitcoms. There's always going to be movies because actors are going to be huge playing roles into this. But I think... The Internet Star is going to be more of a a prestigious award than just um, something, you know, you throw out on the side. Oh, he's famous on the Internet. OK, that's fine. You know, because they did a huge thing over. Uh, I know PewDiePie got an award and then they kind of downed his award because it, it was just for Internet or stuff like that. And I think that's really that wasn't really right. But, uh, you know, that's that I digress on that whole situation. But I think. TV as a whole is on a ding- is on a downscale, and I think that uh, in 2045 it's not going to be a thing. I think that's a huge bold prediction by me, but I don't think it's going to be a thing. Um, also, technology wise, right now, our we're starting to grasp, um, you know, television, not television, but technology in like eyewear, like the uh, Microsoft Hololens, the Google Glass, all those cool things. Um, I think we'll be able to more advance into that. And then we'll actually start working into holograms, into virtual reality. I think that that's going to be a huge playing factor in the next 30 years. I also think that, and no, I know this is really, really jumping it, but I don't know if phones as a whole will be a thing. I think phones are going to slowly migrate onto, I know this is weird, but slowly migrate to a wristband. And the reason I say that is because right now we have smartwatches and stuff like that but i think that it as a whole it's going to mold into a wristband and i think and the reason i think this is because they had it in um call of duty black ops 2 and i thought it was super cool but a wristband that's not only a phone but it's kind of like uh you know entertainment wise i think all that stuff could be put onto your wristband i mean it's hands-free it's on your wrist you just look at it i think um a moldable screen is really going to help that one out as well. I think screens are going to be able to bend now. I think they're do- working on that now and they're able to do it. Um, I think that's going to play a huge factor in the future. Let's see. What else? Things from the Avengers <laughs> and Marvel Universe. I think smart desks are going to be a thing in the future, especially in the next 30 years. I don't know if they're going to be marketable, but I think they're going to be more of a thing than just... um tv magic smart tables like you can move things around on the table you can have data on the table i've always wanted a desk that had a built-in uh a keyboard that's that's just on the desk it's a hologram i know they have stuff like that now that you could do for your phone but it's not it's not really the same as having one just piece of hardware i think that that's going to be a huge thing um in the future. I really hope it is anyways. I think that in the next 30 years, there's going to be a huge advancement in technology. We're going to start exploring different realms of stuff. We're going to have advancements in smartwatches. I think that uh, phones are going to go through a see-through phase. I think um, um, transparent phones are going to be a thing in the next 10 to 15 years. And really, I think phones in general are going to phase out because um, people are going to stop I'm using phones less and start using uh, wearable gear. Like I like I know I, this will never happen, but you know, like smart hats. I don't understand why that would be fun, but why not? Smart headbands, um, stuff you can wear on your body to put, make yourself hands free. Like smart glasses. I definitely think everybody will have a pair of those within the next ten to fifteen years. Um, I don't get why, but smart shoes, I don't know, rocket shoes, that'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, but that's a thing. But, um, a lot of technological advances. 
I also really hope, I don't know if they will, and this is more so just for environmental sakes, but I really, really hope they start doing more advances in eco-friendly options. Kind of like solar power. I really, I feel like they could, they could go, I'm still here by the way. See, look, I'm in game. Yay. <laughs> but solar power, why don't they put more money into that? Make it more efficient so we can run everything off solar power. That would be so great. We can just completely get off fossil fuels. But um, I think if they would, uh, they would start, you know, finding new ways of transmitting power through, you know, and transforming solar energy into uh, mechanical energy or kinetic energy or whatever the heck you want to call it energy and be able to use that more. Um, I think that they'll really start moving more advancements in clean energy. I don't know if Mr. of uh, if Mr. What's it called? Um, the thing that was powering the DeLorean, what was that called? Oh my goodness. Anyways, I don't know if, uh, Mr. Fusion, yeah, that was what it was called. I don't know if that's going to become a thing where they can turn trash into energy, but that would be really cool. And also, if you guys are still here, I want you guys to post down your suggestions. What do you guys think the next 30 years is going to be about? What do you think 2045 is going to be like? Is there going to be flying cars? Do you think there's going to be flying cars after I've just stomped all over it? I, 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 really, I, I really want to hear your suggestions on this. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think that wearable gear is going to be a thing? Do you think even though internet will still be here? You know, all apocalyptic things aside. A lot of people will get into like that. I don't even think the world's going to be here in 30 years, but all apocalyptic things aside, what do you think 2045 is going to be like? Do you think um, it's going to be <laughs> this huge advancements in technological advances or do you think it's just going to be pretty much the same except, you know, a few cool new gadgets here and there? And please. If you think it's going to end up like Wally, say it's going to end up like Wally, because part of me think it's going to end up like Wally. We're gonna all going to be in chairs and we're going to be sleeping everything out of a straw because <laughs> I think I really hope that that doesn't happen. But I feel like it, it, it might. <laughs> and really, I hope it doesn't. I don't want to lose my independence. And I know a lot of my friends, I was talking about this with my friends, but a lot of them thought that um, self-driving cars was going to be a thing. And I can see that. I know we have self-parking cars now and cars that will literally park themselves. But I think you kind of lose independence with that. I don't want to, to be able to sit back and have something do it for me. I want to do it, you know, especially when it comes with driving. If it's kind of like if it's a long distance, I don't see a problem with it. But I don't want to lose the independence of driving. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. But um, but yeah, other than that, the Internet, I guarantee will still be here. I don't know if it's going to be this huge thing that's different about it. Um, if they can um, integrate it into kind of like holographic things where you can actually see the internet, I don't think that's going to be a thing. I'm, I'm going in the realm of science fiction and Mega Man there, but um, that's <laughs> that's a thing. I don't think we're going to be able to transmute people into giving them superpowers. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, other than that, I really wanted to use the, the end of this video to kind of give a message to myself. And I highly doubt that this will still be on the internet in 30 years. I highly doubt the YouTube will still be. You know what? Maybe it will be. Because I personally think that the internet and and, and um self-created content will be a thing in 30 years. I think that that will be all the rage. Because people really like being creative. And when they can't be a movie star, why not go to the internet, you know? The internet is full of people who also want to be creative. So I don't know if YouTube itself will be a thing, but I think competing competitors will be a thing because there will be competing systems like YouTube and Twitch are the big dogs right now. In 30 years, I don't know if they will be. So yeah, this is more so just to myself. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this um, forever for 30 years, 2045 down the road, but um, we'll see. So yeah. Hello, future Valentine. I know I sound very professional right now, but really, to be honest, um, I hope things are going well. Um, I hope that being 49 isn't being a huge strain on us. I, I, I challenge you right now, wherever you are in the world, I don't know where you're at, even if you're still alive. If I actually do see this, pick up that phone and call mom and tell, <laughs> go ahead and phone her and say you love her. Um, I even know she might be sitting right next to you watching this with you, which would be really awesome. Hello, mother of the future, if you're watching this. But um, how did life go? Um, are you still making YouTube videos? And if so, I commend you for making your dreams come true. 
because that uh, that in and in and of, of itself is just amazing. <laughs> if YouTube's still around in 2045, which I I don't I don't see it, um, even though it's lasted 10 years already, which is really amazing. I can't even believe that the YouTube has lasted 10 years. With it being very popular, really, I don't I don't see why it wouldn't have. But um, that's a thing. Um. But yeah, I, I really don't have very many questions for you. Um, do you have any questions for me? Go ahead and yell them out right now. I can't hear you. <laughs> but yeah, I think that really wraps it up. Uh, my only other question for you is, uh, for myself in the future is, uh, did everything plan out like you thought it would? Because I know as of right now, I don't know where I'm going to be in the next 30 years. I could be in the same place as I am right now, which would suck, because my life would have sucked. Or I could be somewhere across the planet, or even somewhere in some other galaxy. Who knows, we might have some huge te technological advances and we get tapped by aliens and we get sent to another galaxy. I don't know, that stuff won't happen, but you never know. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I really want to hear your suggestions, and if you have your own message for yourself, and I very seriously doubt... You're going to want to put it in my comment section. I would make your own video because I I always enjoyed doing that as a child. And whenever we had like family events and someone was recording, I always liked to t get, send myself little messages. I don't know why. I always loved doing that. But um, I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to go in the comment section right now and, you know, give your predictions on the future and say a little thing for yourself in the future if you ever come back to this video and you'll be able to see it. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I know we didn't have like an actual Hypermind episode, but I felt like this was going to be something good to do, and I'm really glad I did it. And I challenge you, if you're an actual YouTuber, go do it. I think it'd be really fun to do. But um, as always, if you hated this video, you know where to put it. But if you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't and subscribe if you feel the need to I always like saying that because some people don't hit that sub button but if you really do feel the need to hit that sub button hit that sub button it don't cost you a single penny and it makes me feel great I mean the channel's been doing great so far I think we're at 94 subscribers and we're so close to 100 I'm super excited about that and I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything special but I am definitely going to give you guys a a uh, big thank you whenever that happens. So yeah, thank you guys for sitting through my babble today. I will be reading through these comments and seeing what your suggestions. I read through all my comments. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, don't forget to post any questions, comments, remarks down in the comments section down there. I love hearing from you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. See you guys, and see you future Valentine, <laughs> if you ever see this. <laughs> see you guys.